I am a professional videographer. A guy's name is Fen. Shouldn't be recording cause I'm not fully healed from the last time I spit some hard rhymes. Yeah, anyway, this, this, is, this is a place whereby you can leave something and I really hope I have it. Because if I don't, I'm gonna have to go back and look for it. Oh! Oh! Woe is me! Oh! And the fen howled deep into the night in anguish and rage. <laughs> I could swear remembering that I had to pick up a doll somewhere. Oh! So after a billion years, apparently. There's a key. <laughs> uh, and of course, it was hinted at, so it's my fault. But where is the library? Here, perhaps. Duh. Well, looks like I may have gotten some. Oh well, who cares? <laughs> Luckily, I can frog that other one. Well, well, what have we here? I am there, near you. You are on the good way. Observe the place and you will come to me. E. Victor. She doesn't like her first name anymore and has started to call it by... Oh, what? Oh, yeah, hey, it's a crazy room with a crazy tilted thing and you tilt it even more and it's never, ever straight. That's your hint that things are going, going. But I don't want to go in there yet because... Because, because there might be something else in here, like a weird guy standing with no railing support protection services whatsoever. It's just kind of there. And he'll, he'll pay for that, I suppose? I don't know. Is there anything in I saw something. No, but I think... <laughs> Yes, the library key. It does something that I don't ever remember what it does. Actually. So, yeah. Oh, it probably opens that other, other secret passage. Libraries must have two secret passages these days to compete in the marketplace. I mean, I don't know which way to go first, though. This seems like it could be a basement, a dungeon of some sort. I don't know if I want to go here either. Jesus! Oh, man, I thought that door was timed or something. Ah, brain, you suck. Leave my head, please. Thank you. I am not without a brain. I think you all will agree this is much better. Oh, hey. <laughs> yes, secrets are always. Terrible. It's not a scroll, it's a letter. Stupid. May the builder see me and hear me. Where is Emily? I will end up finding her. She can't always hide herself away in those other worlds, the little witch. If she had been different, things would have been simpler. We could have loved one another, Lucy, and Emily would have been like my daughter. I could have cherished her as much as you. But alas, I'm stupid and I'm incredibly conditional in my love for no explicable reason. But alas, it's beyond my ability since neither her eyes nor her words are those of a child. You cannot deny it. An unnatural spirit within the body of a juvenile to better deceive and terrify. Despite this, what great works I would have been able to accomplish if only she would have listened to my orders without thinking of herself at all. A little docility, that's all I'm asking. But Emily is not a flexible soul, just like her mother, right, Lucy? Why do you always scurry away at the sound of my steps? Because you're an asshole. Why haven't I been able to glimpse the depths behind your eyes? Emily's gift is so powerful and unstable for a child. Even as precocious as she is, she needs a mentor to guide her and to teach her to control all its aspects. I humbly offered myself, but encountered only a brutal refusal. Is it you who has turned her against me, right? Sheathe your claws, my sweet. I will find your daughter, no matter the hostile illusions that she may place in my path. You know well that nothing can dissuade me. Will I content myself with an empire when I know that somewhere there exists a door giving access to the universe? Men like to conquer. I have undertaken numerous sacrifices for such power, and all the tears that we both might spill will only be as water in face of the power of a fabricator of worlds. Cease protecting her. It serves no purpose. Neither you nor I can stop the monster's tread. Raymond Delore. He likes his name now, though, all of a sudden. He's, he's replaced his full name, and Emily has replaced her full name with an initial, without an initial. Oh, yeah. It's a doll. 
Guess what, guys? I spoil what to do with this in advance. Don't you love me? All right, well, I guess I'll go down to the basement, although I'm pretty sure I should actually go to another place. This is a crypt, not a basement. What am I even thinking? Hang on. Mm -hmm. This place isn't a mine. It's a tomb. Very obvious secret tomb. <laughs> Should squish my head flat, but didn't. Because honestly, now. Oh, it is a dungeon or something. Oh, no! Mr. Garrett, now what have you got yourself into? How could you forget that this is Morris's home turf, and that of Dolores' right hand man? Now, hurry up and get out of these cursed premises. I'm sending Mr. Ponk without delay to give you a helping hand. I think that it will be necessary if you meet Morris, Emily Victor. <laughs> Mr. Ponk. <laughs> so there is a guy called Mr. Ponk. Well, that's a pretty professional name. He could write Microsoft Word and just utterly get away with it. It's crazy. So this seems to be a slightly disturbing place of a madman who enjoys killing and bloodshed. And, uh, one might almost think that I would want to go down here and taunt some people. You've made enemies, Taffer. Count your hours. <laughs> this is the Larsane model. I don't know if it's supposed to actually be Larsane or, uh, just the same model. He's got the thief voice. Larsane is a thief. And a bad one, because I sure showed him up. Oh. Man. <laughs> oh, dear. Guys floating above a table, <laughs> being tortured, somehow being given a health potion. Rather defeats the point, perhaps, but maybe it just prolongs the punishment. I'm not going to read that note on the ground, because... I've seen that happen before. Because... Oh, that's a broadhead. Oh. Because what do you think of me, crazy? There we go. <laughs> All things function as they should. Uh, um... Perhaps I'd best explore around. Or something. I mean, just seems like an idea. Nothing seems to be happening, but I'm sure there'll be some crazy surprise jump scare any minute now. Hmm. But where is Mr. Punk? <laughs> Creepy! Trippy! Surreal! All of these are words you could use to describe things I am fond of. Hmm. This room is relatively civilized. Suspicious. Hmm. Gently, gently, that's what the boss tells me. I don't know that word, not me. He says, go take out Tancred and his wife. And above all, with discretion, Morris. By the Builder, with discretion. For me, that means only one thing. Go and liquidate Tancred and his middle-class whore. And I only know one way to do that. Like they taught me in the army. I charge, and then give way, or they get smashed. There's one prisoner who is bellowing a lot tonight. And if he keeps it up, I'll go down into the pit with my sledgehammer. He won't be squalling much when I've made him swallow his tonsils. He arrived from the police station yesterday, and he looks like one tough customer. I guess it is a little sane. <laughs> Let's point and laugh. They found him one morning in one of their cells, and to think he got there all by himself. Larson. No, Larsen. That's the name of that Tyrolean opera singer. The boss, he says to me, you see, Morris, before you used to be just like him, an animal, and since the day that you came into my service, you've become a man. I really like the boss when he talks to me like that. <laughs> What's bothering me is that I'm having trouble sleeping lately. I have this recurring nightmare, wherein a little girl and a strange rickety skeleton are chasing me underground, croaking like frogs. Sounds pretty scary! Oh crap, I heard it. I heard a chain. Where is Mr. Punk? <laughs> Indeed. Is he over here? Perhaps? This could be a boarded up door leading theoretically to some other place, but it won't ever lead there in game because. Nah. Alright, well. Run! For pity's sake, run! Quack! 
Quickly! He is here! And try to find Mr. Punk if you need help! Oh! Uh, <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. Uh, this might be like an optional thing. This is a weird objective. But maybe Mr. Punk is around the sign saying, Where is Mr. Punk? That make total sense. Hey! There he is! He has the sound of a frog beast. It really is pretty odd. No, don't hit me, Mr. Punk. Punk that guy. Come on, you stupid. I don't have a flash bomb. Oh. Well, what you're supposed to do, of course, is to sort of... do that. Come on, you guys. Uh, follow me, the both of you. And you, stupid. Where? Come on. Uh... Wow! I'm a song from the 60s! Stupid skeleton girl, I'm on second alert. I'm an idiot and cannot fucking know how to chase. Why am I swearing so much in this LP? Last time I said one of the words you can't say on television and it was disgusting. Mr. Punk, get over here, you idiot! Like, fight! There we go. Now for a totally ordinary AI fight that's actually pretty fast. I guess <laughs> Emily has a skeleton friend. She got it at Build-A-Bear. It was so cute. It can do a skeletal ring boom. Does that guy even die? Or does he just bleed? Yes, he, he, he dies. Well, that's convenient. I don't suppose he's got anything lootable on him. No, he's just kind of there. Well, thank you, Mr. Skiller Man. And now, wherever the hell this is, I don't even Reagan remember. Hang on. This probably takes me to Dolores' meeting room. I thought it was some other roundabout way, but... Well, I, I've misremembered. There's a misaligned texture. It's awesome. So this is how I get up here. Yeah. You see, I knew I saw a doorway over here. And, and, and yeah, I knew this room would need to have a purpose. Yes. Well, let's go down the unequal length half shaft here and onto friggin' this. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh, I frobbed ahead and something happened, presumably. What exact? So... What, is it just a secret? What did it do? Oh. <laughs> okay, hey, I'll take it. Oh, hey. Touches thou my head, my good lord, will bring thee good luck. Touch my head. I don't think so, man. Anyways. Strange squished hammerheads, good luck. Hey, pfft. I'll take a good luck bean no matter what shape it's in. Luck bean, once you're lucky, then you'll see what I mean. Hmm, thought I saw something. Yeah. Who made that noise? Well, trivializing the war since 1850-12. Now, I guess I would like to rope down probably near Delore, which is probably that big old fat red Santa Claus looking guy down here. Not that it matters much with the torches out, <coughs> but hey. <laughs> yes. That's his warehouse key, and it's a gear. And... There was a safe in some other room. Doesn't he have a key to open that safe as well? Or is that the one I have to go all roundabouts for? Guess... So... Okay! So you'd have to come back here anyway, so if you didn't kill that guy... Lol, 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 lol. Deck the halls with objects. Did this... That... That passage closed behind me. So... I have to find another way? <laughs> Do I? So you're not supposed to come back here? Oh geez, yeah, I have to get down from here. S some... Uh, 
how uh, well good enough well here I am back where I started having not still gone to that part yet but I'm gonna leave it here because I want to overdo it so I'll uh, see you guys later and bye for now